Hey folks, welcome to the first episode of a brand new Let's Play! Over the coming weeks, we're going to be playing Fantasy World Dizzy, released by Codemasters and the Oliver Twins in 1989. The main character is Dizzy the Egg, and as I mentioned way back in my very first video, Dizzy was pretty much the unofficial mascot for the CPC. Sega had the fastest thing alive, Nintendo had the bravest Italian-American plumber in the world, and we got a clever egg with boxing gloves on. How could we possibly lose? Dizzy starred in 12 games overall, 7 of them were puzzle-based platform games, and the other 5 were spin-off titles. If you've seen Panic Dizzy or Fast Food, that's the kind of thing we mean by spin-off titles. This particular game is the third in the series. Now, there's actually a very good reason for starting on part 3. The first two games don't really have anything worth commenting on, and they each have problems that make them longer and less entertaining than they deserve to be. Treasure Island Dizzy fans, I do indeed mean the diving sections. The third title, however, is the one that's expanded the series' mythos and created things that would then go on to become canon. The first two Dizzy games had Dizzy and the bad guy, with no dialogue, conversation, nothing. But this one introduced Dizzy's friends and family, a delightful bunch of oddballs known as the Yoke Folk. We'll meet them and introduce them as we go through the game proper. Don't worry that you're coming in on part 3. There's no real continuity from one game to the next, so all you really need to know is that Dizzy is the good guy. The plot to this one is about what you could expect from a CPC platformer. Dizzy and his girlfriend Daisy have discovered a secret entrance to a nearby castle. The couple were caught. Daisy was kidnapped and thrown in an evil wizard's sky fortress, while Dizzy was thrown into the castle's dungeon. We begin the game in the dungeon, waiting for Dizzy to make his daring escape. And we'll come to that one in the next video. But until next time, goodbye.